the song, they fight on it. They carry, they have their own folders. So 320 GB is just their information. Right? Apart from that, rest of it. So we are talking about like, um, so we are talking about like, there are like in near future in our home itself. Pictures, digital pictures, right? We love taking pictures and we don't want to delete any of them. So, gigabytes and gigabytes of that information and you want to keep it. Right? So, keep it. Right? So what made the change in the disk uh, storage was the real technology. Redundant array of inexpensive disk or some people call it independent. Right? That's what changed the disk storage in the last 20-25 years. The guys who were like part of this group who developed this groundbreaking technology in 1984, groundbreaking technology in 1984, uh, were uh, these three guys and I think one of them, three guys and I think one of them, he joined EMC also at some time, okay, at some time, okay. The other, what is a solid state disk? It's basically a solid state uh, drive is a semiconductor based block storage device that uh, behaves as a virtual FTD and appears as host device as a disk drive. So from one, as a disk drive. So from like 3.5 J-Bots and rack mounted. Why people are moving towards uh, SSD, uh, SSX reasons. EMC, EMC was the first company this year to come up with uh, SST based storage, uh, SST based, and there are big customers like Walmart, Amazon. Some of them are already implemented. The amount of uh, latency is 30 times less. The speed is 30 times faster with SSDs. They call it tier zero storage now. Okay, so the SST based storage is called tier two storage, and although it's priced 18 times than the regular storage, okay, and the regular storage performance every company has to look at. But in one year itself, SSD prices have become half. So prices are going so prices are much because of the low power, improving pricing and demanding applications. Because you know how much because you know how Amazon eBay does in one uh, in one day 50 billion transactions. 50 billion transactions a day eBay does on the net, which are stored. I was with eBay, eBay chief architect uh, two months back in Korea in one of the conferences on uh, Green Data Center. Uh, green Data Center, amazing the way they have developed their whole storage infrastructure and the kind of uh, power they have put in in their systems, what they have put in in their system grid technologies. Okay, so SAS, as I said, this is a technology you watch for. Actually, this came up because of the parallel study was getting uh, behind and it was lagging. So this was the invention came up and this is, you will see a lot of things happening and uh, as, per, as per IBC, Forrester, anyone, next two to three are a lot of action in the SAS and SATA area and these are the reasons why this will be the technology to look for. On the data storage evolution, things have changed in last, I would say, 30 years. See, earlier we had only that. Right, simple storage, I connect the box, that's it, dummy box, nothing done. All the application, data services, metadata, RAID was up. Then we moved towards SAN, right, we moved RAID, RAID into SAN box. Then we came up with NAS, moved uh, metadata as well. And then what right now in the market available is OSD, object based storage devices, right? And that's where those the standards of XAM, uh, accessible access method and all are coming into the picture and we are moving towards ISD, integrated storage devices, right? Sorry, I have to really run fast, right? Sorry, and I have to speak fast as well to cover up my slide and do justice to you. One other thing which really my passion, my, I, I am passionate about, how networks have evolved. How networks have evolved. I read first edition of Tenenbaum. Uh -huh. I'm sure if you are doing a computer science graduation or electronics, you are going through the Tenenbaum, which is a bible of computer networks. Right? And then, in few years, only four times, few years, only four networks used to be there. LAN, MAN, RAN, and CAN, campus area networks. So only four used to be there. But look at how things have gone. To start with, things have gone. To start with FAN, uh, GAN, HAN, human area networks, or home area networks, or CAN, knowledge area networks, and knowledge area networks, networks, storage area networks, total area networks. It's really networks, complex networks. This is not only happening in network area, every area that complexity is there. 
So one of the things you can is how do I make things interoperable among these networks? How do these networks? How do you manage uh, these kind of environments? That's where the companies are focused today. Look at, see, Ethernet is everywhere. Ethernet is prevalent all over the world. And that's where most of the companies are moving. The companies are moving. And what since 1973 when it came? We are at a 10, G, 10 gig. 10 GBPS speed, 10 GBPS now, and we are, we are moving towards a errorless uh, Ethernet. Errorless uh, Ethernet. That does not mean that fiber channel is dead. There is a full roadmap for fiber channel. Still, if you look at since 19, look at since 19, started talking about fiber channel. In fact, I was in IBM at that time, and uh, I worked on the initial fiber, and uh, I worked on the initial arts, which used to be $10,000 one FC card. And we killed, and we, we needed, 20, we did the whole development for one and a half year, I was my development for one and a half year, I was, and we needed 25 FC cards to do the testing on IBM 6611 router. And IBM was going back uh, phase that time in 1993, so I couldn't get the funding for those 25 cards, and we killed the whole project, 30 people working for one and a half years. Sometimes companies made those hard, hard decisions. My whole team was demotiv demotivated at the time, but as an organization, that's a decision. Take it and you have to live with it. And you have to cope up and move forward. Right? So this is the, you can see we are at right now at uh, 8 uh, uh, GFC networks and we are moving towards 20 or 40 uh, GFC networks. What is going to be future in fiber channel is FCOE. Fiber channel OE. I was very, very promising. Uh, I was in one of the conference in US uh, about two months back. Half of the conference was on FCOE. Okay. What we are talking about is unified. We are talking about is unified SAN, FC SAN, IP SAN, or FCOE. Everything in single box. Use what you want. Pay for what you want. Right. 